Good day guys. Um, this is another tutorial on MTS 205 uh, two, uh, sorry 105 and um, we're going to be treating binomial expansion today. Yeah, um, yeah the tutorials have been I mean the videos I've been posting so far is based on the fact that you have the knowledge of how to solve them properly because everything I'm going to be doing here is how to solve them very fast the shortcuts so for binomial expansion it is expected that you already know combination and permutation yes combination and permutation when you are selecting you use combination and when you're rearranging you use the permutation so a quick review on combination combination the formula if you have n combination r formula is n factorial n minus r factorial r factorial so for example out of five you're selecting three what will be the value what will be the answer so if that was five factorial five minus three factorial three factorial so you can then break it down three factorial then five times four times three factorial two factorial three factorial three factorial cancels three factorial so you have 20 divided by two and that's um, 10 yeah so that's just a quick explanation of combination because the idea is needed and there's some things we need to know this is worthy of note 5 combination 4 is 5 if you have n combination n minus 1 at least the one down here is just one less than the one up there the answer is that one up there and if you have n combination 1 anything combination one is a number so if you have five combination one it is five and if you have n combination n itself is one so two combination two is one five combination five is one so these are things we need to also note and also n combination zero five combin n combination zero is also one is also one so we already know this now let's go straight into binomial expansion okay so let's treat something very simple let's treat something very simple x plus y cube yes let's expand this let's expand this so binomial expansion is just simply expansion of all this work you know this one is still easy to do we can first expand it in terms of in this way then whatever we get we now multiply again through with this we can do it this way fine we can do it this way but binomial expansion gives the formula it gives a direct formula that would solve everything it will expand it directly and then um, the formula is simply n combination r a n minus r br this is the formula we need to know so let's quickly use this in solving this in expanding this n will be this number up here the power r starts from zero sorry summation where r starts from zero and hence in n whatever the value of n is a will be the first value here so any ipk doesn't really matter then b will be the next value so now let's quickly expand this so summation of n combination r a n minus r b r where r starts from zero and hence in the value of n so take for example let's now use this as example let's expand this it then becomes firstly we start with 3 combination 0 remember that it said r starts with 0 3 combination 0 a is x in this case x 3 minus 0 remember n minus 0 n minus r then b is y in this case 0 so then the first one we'll do the second one 3 combination 1 x 3 minus 1 y 1 now we have jumped to 1 this time. Remember we said R will start from 0 and end in the value of N. So that means we still have 3 combination 2. X 
3 minus 2 y 2 plus then we have combination 3 x 3 minus 3 y 3 so we are stopping here because now r is now the value of n r is now 3 so 3 minus 3 combination 0 as we remember is 1 times x is to power 3 times 1 plus this 3 combination 1 remember it is 3 x raised to the power of 2 y plus 3 combination 2 remember it is 3 x raised to the power of 1 y raised to the power of 2 plus 3 combination 3 remember it is 1 x raised to the power of 0 y raised to the power of 3 so x cubed plus 3 x squared y plus 3 x y squared plus uh, y sorry y is power 3 so now if you're expanding it normally you still get this at the end of the day this is what you get at the end of the day so that's binomial expansion now the shortcuts we're going to the shortcut because in case you are told to expand something would you not be expanding it like this in exam no but you won't be told to expand something like this in exam for example questions you see in exam is in the binomial expansion of the binomial expansion of uh, say x plus 4 raised to the power of 10 comma what is the value of the coefficient of x is the power of 6 yes so this is a good question and that means you are told to expand it and you only need the coefficient of x is power 6 now it will be a waste of time to expand everything it will be a very good waste of time total waste of time and how do you do it? you just need that of x is power 6 alone so what we are going to do is we are going to do as if we want to expand everything but then we we'll only write 1 so if we are to expand it that will be 10 combination but we don't know what r will be yet so let's leave it as r then x raised to the power of 10 minus r plus uh, uh, 4 raised to the power of r you know if we are expanding this i to be where r will, will first start with 10, 10 combination 0 x raised to the power of 10 minus 0 4 r raised to the power of 0 then plus 10 combination 1 x is power of 10 minus 1 and, and so on that's how you do it well this time around we just want the one, the one that gives us so then the question now is what value should r be such that if you put it here it's going to at the end of the day x will be raised power of 6 yeah can you think of it what value will r be such that if you put it here x is going to be raised power of 6 yeah you got it right it is 4 r should be 4 so then when r equals 4 as a 10 combination 4 s is with 10 minus 4 4 is power 4 then 10 combination 4 x is the power of 6 then 4 is the power of 4 so let's quickly solve 10 combination 4 as 10 factorial 10 minus 4 factorial 4 factorial 10 factorial 6 factorial 4 factorial so at the end of the day if 6 factorial comes out of 10 factorial what will be left 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 i hope you all got that then 4 times 3 times 2 then two cancels to three five so five times three times two times seven five times three times two times seven that's two one zero two one zero okay two one zero now let's go back so this place is 210 
this is power of 6 4 is power of 4 is 256 so 256 times 210 that's 53760 x to the power of 6 so this is the coefficient you've just gotten it without expanding the whole thing without expanding the whole thing now i'm treating one more question i'm treating one more question and go to a new page now in the expansion of x minus y raised to the power of 8 what is the coefficient of x raised to the power of 4 x raised to the power of 5 y raised to the power of 3 okay now in the coefficient of in the expansion of x minus y raised to power 8 what is the coefficient of this yeah, so it's still the same thing. Basically, let's try to, if you like to expand it normally, using that, remember that you have summation of n combination r, a, n minus r, b, r, where r starts from 0 and ends in n. Remember? So we're going to try to do this, but then we're not going to expand everything. So if you are doing it without expanding it, then it becomes 8, comma, we don't know what r will be, so let's leave it as r, then a here is x is the power of n 8 minus r don't know what r will still be yet then minus y is the power of r now the question now is what should r be such that if you put it here at the end of the day you have x to be raised to the power of 5 y to be raised to the power of 3 yes you got it 3 8 combination 3 x is the power of 8 minus 3 minus y raised to the power of 3 so just expand this and you get the answer at the end of the day you have x raised to the power of 5 then y raised to the power of 3 so that minus will come and affect what is outside so when you expand this whatever you get then you are good to go so that's just the shortcut to solving binomial expansion you don't have to expand everything just quickly use this logic and you'll solve the particular one you want to get so thank you very much i remain last in the feet and sorry i've not been posting videos yes i was very sick sometimes ago i was very sick like last week throughout last week i was so sick that i will not even do anything and i was still to have enough rest and um, i've been feeling fine for some days now but right now i'm undergoing a major reform in my career so uh it kind of it kind of needs my attention so but hopefully everything is just to make this tutorial better uh hopefully next semester next semester by the time next semester starts we will be treating not just mts including chm and some other difficult courses so you guys should raise up next semester by god's grace everything and with the major reform that is happening now just to make this tutorial better for you guys so thank you very much for listening bye and please don't forget to subscribe and share to others share to your friends help others be successful bye